we know that adverbs describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. They give more meaning and information to a sentence. Now we have seen that the type of adverb determines its position in a sentence. Now let us read this sentence. She is extremely tired after the long journey. Now in this sentence, extremely is an adverb of degree which is modifying the adjective tired. So we can say that adverbs of degree are placed right before the adjective that they modify. But what about this sentence? This house is big enough for the couple. Now in this sentence, enough is an adverb of degree which has been placed after the adjective big. So remember that enough always comes after the adjective it modifies. This is an exceptional case for the adverb enough. Now let us do this exercise. Rewrite the sentence by inserting the given adverb in the correct position. This place is peaceful to meditate and the adverb given to us is enough. Now we know that enough is always placed after the adjective that it modifies. Now what is the adjective in this sentence? Peaceful. So our correct sentence will be this place is peaceful enough to meditate. The carpenters worked very slowly. Now in this sentence, very is an adverb of degree which is modifying another adverb slowly. So an adverb of degree is placed before the adverb it modifies. So let us do this exercise. Rewrite the sentence by inserting the given adverb in the correct position. The kids performed well for their age and the adverb given to us is pretty. Now we know that adverbs of degree are placed before another adverb that they modify. Now in this sentence, the kids performed well for their age. Performed is the verb. Well is an adverb. So we have to place this adverb pretty before the adverb well. So our sentence will be, the kids performed pretty well for their age. The carpenters almost completed their work by the evening. Now in this sentence, almost is an adverb of degree, which is modifying the verb completed. So we see that adverbs of degree are placed before the verb that they modify. But what if we have a sentence as, the carpenters have almost completed their work. Now in this sentence, have completed is our verb. So the verb has two parts, have, which is an auxiliary verb, and completed, which is the main verb. So the adverb of degree almost has been placed between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. So remember that adverbs of degree are placed between the auxiliary verbs and the main verbs. So let us do this exercise now. Rewrite the sentence by inserting the given adverb in the correct position. She is trying to adjust and the adverb given to us is really. Now in this sentence, what is the verb? Is trying. So the verb has two parts. Is, which is the auxiliary verb, and trying, which is the main verb. So our adverb has to be placed between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. So the sentence will be, she is really trying to adjust. Now let us read this sentence. We a lot go to the mountains. Now we have learned that we can place adverbs before the main verb. In this sentence, go is the main verb. But does this sentence make any sense? No. This sentence is not correct. 
we will say we go to the mountains a lot. So we see that adverbs of degree like a lot or a bit usually go in the end position of a sentence. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about the various positions that the adverb of degree can take in a sentence. If you find it confusing, all you have to do is practice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.